Okay, so I'm joined with Milton. Hey Milton, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Lovely, thank you very much for joining us to play some Blood Bowl 7s. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you've not played sevens before, have you? I've never played sevens before. Um, you get the general idea. You've seen yeah, bits. Yeah, I've seen some videos. I've seen the first episode of this series. Fantastic! Thank you very much. That's good. Um, right, so we're going to play two games today. But for this video, we are going to be running by halflings because I think that would be quite interesting to see how they play out in sevens. What team are you going to be using against the halflings? The dark elves. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Because that's the team you're thinking about taking. To serve our sevens? Yes, it is. That's what I'd like to run at the tournament. Okay, lovely job. What we'll do is we'll talk through the team when we've got them on the pitch, and you can tell us about the positionals. Okay. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, Milton, so what are you running? I'm running Dark Elves. Here I have three Blitzers, a Runner, and three Linemen. The Blitzers have Block, and the Runner has Dump Off. Yeah, which means if he gets blocked before the block resolves... He can pass um, the ball. He gets to make a quick pass. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, then, and that's it. And then and th three Linemen, no are, skills. Just Edge 4 with Armour 8, yep. which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. So that comes to 590 with no rerolls, but you get one fan factor I do. to go that to round up to 600. Okay, so here is my halfling team. What we've got are two Treemen. Uh, they are Reaper Bones Iron Golem Miniatures. And then we have got two halfling Catchlers with fancy Chaos Heads and a slight hand swap there. And five ordinary halflings. Plus a Master Chef, which you can run in sevens. So we're going to be interesting to see how powerful that is. And that, and one fan factor, brings me to 600. So the first thing we do is roll for weather. So that's one dice each. Five, three, eight, so just regular weather. Then we'll do our fan factor roll, which is 2d6. Six. six for you, four for me. We both get plus one, so you get fame plus one. Okay. Lovely job. And then we roll for the kick. Two, three. So will you be kicking or receiving? I'll receive. Okay, so I'm kicking to you. I better set up. Okay, so I'm set up. I've got my two treemen on the line. One random halfling on the centre there, and I've got my two catchers here. Hopefully, with their sprint and uh, catch, if I get a ball steal, they can do something interesting. So, so for setup for sevens, you need to have three guys on your line of scrimmage um, in the middle. You can have up to one person in each end zone. Uh, sorry, each end zone? You can put as many people as you like in the end zone. One in each wide zone maximum. So you don't have to, so I haven't, but you can. And obviously, only seven players on the pitch. Okay, we're all set up? Yes, I'm good. Let's do the kick. And with sevens, when, oh, when you roll for scatter, you roll a d8 for the direction and 2d6 for the actual scatter of the ball, but you only take the lowest one. Now, I'm not going to try anything clever with my halflings, because even though we are a mighty move five, I don't think it's worth it. So I think I'm just going to pop the ball there. And then... Okay, let's scatter the ball. So one to four. Which direction is four? It's straight back there. So it's due to land. There you go. On, on the that back guy. blitzer. But before we do the that, before we resolve that, we roll for kickoff table. It's slightly different in sevens. Okay, we've got a twelve. Pitch which invasion. Is a pitch invasion. Okay, so with a pitch invasion, you roll d6 for each player on the pitch. Um, you're rolling for the other team and you're adding your fame bonus. So you've got fame plus one. I do. So you are five plusing to stun my players. Okay. So if we could start with this guy. He's okay. This guy. He is stunned. Brutal. This guy. Yep, he's okay. He's all right. And this one. He's okay. So the big tree man there. Right. He's all right. Middle guy. He's right. okay. And this tree man. He's all right as well. Okay, so let's see if we can get some revenge. So starting with this guy there, he's all right. Next guy along, he's okay too. That's a lot of ones already. That's a lot of ones. And the next guy, the lineman. He's and okay. the blitzer, who's supposed to catch the ball. No. The blitzer on that end. Yeah. He is stunned. And the lineman. No, because I don't have the fame bonus. And then the runner. Here we go. He's fine as well. Okay, so with that resolved, your guy gets to try and catch the ball. So you are agility four, so that's a straight three plus to catch it. 
Yep. He catches, so he catches the ball. It. And then we will move on to your turn one. Now, just before we move on to that, Milton, you've got no rerolls on your team build. No. I've got no rerolls on my team build, but I do have a Halfling Master Chef, which means I roll 3d6, and on a 4+, plus, you lose one, and I gain one. Yep. So, let's see if we can give you a negative rerolls. Oh, you there you go. Two. First dice rolls with the Halfling dice, and gives me two rerolls. Now, your first turn. So I've got the ball already, which is good. Just got to get my way past the halfling line now. The fearsome strength two halfling line. I'm gonna move this lineman up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna move this lineman. One, two, three, four, five. This lineman. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna move. The blitz are up to here. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to perform a blitz action with this blitzer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the blitz. Okay, so that's strength three against strength two. That gives you two dice. And obviously you've got the block advantage as well. So I will take the block. Okay, so both down. This little dude falls over, and then what happens to him? Nothing. Oh, he's fine. And then that is the end of my turn. This guy rolls over. Okay. Halfling's turn one. So, this little guy is stunned. He's just, he's just prone. So he's going to start by standing up. One, two, three. Pop himself there. There's really no point in him doing a blitz. So, ball carrier there. The great thing about trees is they've got a huge amount of strength, but they do not have a huge amount of mobility. So I think the logical thing to do is for this chap here to try and blitz. So he's a tree man, which means he's got to take root. So on a one, slow roll there, three, he takes root, but he doesn't, so he's fine. So he's gonna blitz, one, and then he will block. So he's blitzing this dark elf player behind him who is strength three against my strength six. So it's only a two die block. Okay, I don't have both down, but I can take the push and put him on the ball carrier. I think that's probably the best thing to do. So I'll push him to there and I'll follow up with the tree. Then we will try and move with this tree man. So take root on a one, no, he's okay. And we'll just see if we can't say tie up some dark elf players when you've got edge four you're never really tied up and then we'll start doing a one two halfling defensive action and one to there and one two three to there see if we can't stop that ball carrier and finally this chap rolls over and that is my turn one now, what I'm going to do with the ball carrier is I'm going to declare a blitz action. Okay. I'm going to jump him out to here. Okay, so he is a dark elf, so he's got agility four, and he's dodging one or two plus, basically. It's a one. So he's down. Oh, no, the lack of re-rolls in sevens. So that guy goes down. You get to roll for armor. Let's roll for his armor quickly. Okay. It's a nine, breaks the armor. And it's a six, so he is He's stunned. On his face. And then, would you scatter the ball? So? I will scatter the ball. So it goes six. So it goes from him into that. Okay, very quick turn. My turn two now. First things first, we've got a tree man here that's gonna try and block that dark elf. So he still has to roll for take root, but he's okay. And now he will make a strength six against strength three block. Push, push will do. So I'll push him to there and follow up with the giant, quote unquote, tree man. Then we'll try a very similar thing with this guy here. Again, take root on anything but a one. He's okay. And he will try and block this dark elf. This is strength six against strength three. Uh, so actually gets strength six, strength seven, strength eight. He's got the power of friendship there. So that's a three die block. Oh, 
<gasps> oh my goodness me. You Luckily, do have a reroll. You have two. Have a re -roll. Let's do that. That's crazy. I think it's going to be one of those games. That is also quite crazy. So we will take one of the pals and we'll put the blitzer there. I'm not going to follow up because I like the tree man to be keeping that guy in place. Roll the armor. Eight. He's fine. And then we've got some ball work to do. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can't apply the numbers to that dark elf. And then this guy will block. So strength two, three, four. I'll take the dodge star, pop him there. I will follow up. So these are chaos halflings, not, not powerful enough. So we've got a guy there and we've got a guy there. So let's go one, two, three, four. Four is probably right. And then do we try and pick the ball up now? Let's try and pick the ball up now. So go to there. Three picks up the ball. Very good. What on earth do I do now? One. So he's stunned, so he's safe for a second. There's not going to be a great deal I can do. So I will go to there. Stop that. And then this half link will try and dodge to there on a three plus. Yep. One, two, three. So it's not great, but it's reasonably defensible. And that is my turn two. Okay, your turn three. My turn three. So I have a lot of Dark Elves on the floor. I have to think carefully about how I'm going to move them and how I'm going to tie up that ball player. So I think the first move I'm going to do is get this guy up. One, two, three. And he is going to stay where he is. Then my next move is going to be to stand this guy up for one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to move this guy one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six or seven? Our runners are seven. Seven. He's going to go there for seven. The deep threat. So I think my first action is going to be a blitz action here with him. Yep. So. He's going to get up one, two, three for his fourth. He is going to blitz that halfling. So strength three against strength two. That's two dice. Two die. So I have block. I do not have block. So the halfling goes down. Let's see what happens to him. Nine, Nine breaks the armor. Four, oh, stunned. stunned. I don't think this guy's having a very good game. So, not ideal, but not bad. I can now approach with this lineman to tie the ball carrier up a little bit. I believe this tree man is going to be quite a big threat to this lineman. So, with this guy stunned, yeah. I think I have to leave this lineman in contact. I think dodging out is probably too much of a risk at the moment. And as such, I'm going to leave him where he is. This guy rolls over and it's the end of my turn. Okay, my turn three. So we do have the Dark Elf deep threat, but somehow the halflings have the ball. So what can we do to free up that ball carrier? We will try this tree man. He will try and do a blitz action. So on a one, he takes root, he's okay. And a one to there, and then he will blitz him. So here's strength six, and your guy is strength three. But you get plus one. And you get plus one. Yes. So it's two dice. Ooh. Ooh. Now, because we're halflings, we have a master chef, so we use the second reroll. So they're all gone. So reroll that one, because all I'm really looking for is a push. There and you, you got go. two of them. All I'm really looking for is a million dollars. <laughs> so he follows up. So that's freed up the ball carrier. That chap is stunned, so there's not a great amount we can do there. Let's try another tree man block. So this tree man is going to try and hit him. He has to take root. He's okay. And again, it's two dice. So I take the dodge power there. And I will follow up. And then we'll see about the armor. No, nothing at all. Okay, so that's the two tree men gone. 
And now we need to try and get this halfling somewhere slightly better. Now we've got two Dark Elf players on the ground, but they are going to get up and they're going to start moving soon. So I think it's time for a halfling cage break. So one, two, no, oh, well, I'm going to be going into tackle zones here, aren't I? Yes, you are. Which is okay, because that is what halflings do. So let's, uh, let's try a thing. So the ball carrier is going to go one, two, to there. Yep. And we will go on a dodge to there for a three. Success. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's just pop him over there. One, two, three, four, which is a dodge roll. And with the dodge re-roll, okay, four, five, dodge to there. Too hot, too far. Gambled. Okay. How badly does he die? He doesn't. Not at all. No, that is it. He's four. okay. My turn three. Your turn four. Turn four. Oh, okay. There's some carnage going on here. First there is. He but needs to roll over. Your bad luck may have been my good fortune, as the ball carrier is now exposed, and I have a blitzer ready to roll. So, I think my first action for this turn will be he is going to perform a blitz action. So he's going to get up. Oh bit. no, he can't, can he? Because he's, he's got to dodge into here and then... Oh, if he jumps into here and performs a blitz on him... There's no dodge roll to make. No, but he would be minus one and their strength two. Yeah, so, so it'd be a one die block. It would be a one die block. Unless you got that dark elf up first to tag the tree man. But then he's very at risk of going out of the stadium. It would, it would only be a two die block for me looking for a push. This is true. That is um, that, that is pretty good odds. It is good odds. Okay. So, first things first. This blitzer is going to try and dodge out to here. Okay, so, two plus. Yes, success. So, so one. one, two, three. Okay. Now I'm going to perform the blitz action. So, one, one two, two, three. three. Four, five for the blitz, oh, two die. Well played. I do not have block. Hmm. That depends on whether or not I want to stay there, though. I suppose I do. So I will take you down. Yep, so Let's the halfling falls over. Them. Oh, the armour is destroyed. And then what happens to the player? He's just He's stunned. stunned. Okay, would you scatter so that ball then, Milton? He is down. And the ball scatters onto this blitzer. Oh, brilliant. So that's a straight three plus to catch. Yes. And he catches it. Well done. So the blitzer now has the ball. A ball steal. Is that the same blitzer from earlier? Quite possibly. Yeah, I need to number these guys. Um, <laughs> so I think this guy is going to come here. 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 This guy's going to stay where he is. This guy is going to attempt to jump out to here. Okay, two plus. He Which makes succeeds. it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, to protect against the blitz from the halfling on the ground there. Yeah. Now, because he'd already made an action, I can't move him with the ball, so I have to just do my best at protecting him. So he is going to stand up, one, two, three, and he is going to attempt to dodge to here. Okay, so that's plus one, minus one, and the just four, that's a three plus roll. Which he does not he make, does and not. he goes down. Okay. Could I borrow a couple of dice there? Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. So, roll for the armour for the Dark Elf. No. Six. He's fine, but that is a turnover. Yeah. So, turn four for the halflings. We have got the deep threat there for the dark elf. We've got the ball stolen back, which should rightly, rightfully belong to the halflings. Um, and I need to find a way to hamper that ball situation. However, I think the best thing to do is to start with this tree man here. 
he is going to try and punch this chap. Take root. He's okay on a five. So that is strength six against strength three. Pow. We'll pop him there. And I will follow up. He's not in any tackle zones of Dark Elves, and actually we could make sure we could use him to be so. So break the armor. Five. Nothing at all. Does that massively help us? Not really. So let's begin. He will try and block, so take root on a one. Five. He's, He's okay. okay. And he will try and block the Dark Elf Blitzer there. Success. Okay, so he is going to pop the Dark Elf Blitzer there, I think. And he will follow up. So, roll for armour. Nine, breaks the armour. And seven. I believe the Treemen have Mighty Blow. So we'll pop that up to a knockout. Okay. So he's out of there. So that frees up a little bit of space for a huge uphill blitz. Let's see if we can't level the odds a bit. One, two, three. Let's sacrifice him to the blitzer. So this guy is going to go one. It's going to take some go for it. So here we go. Two, three, four, five. Go for it, six. Makes it. Mm -hmm. Go for it on the seven. Makes, Makes it. it as well. And then the ever feared halfling blitz. This guy is going to get up, one, two, three, yep. and he is going to blitz to there. First of all, he has to dodge. Now, he's stunty, which means he gets to ignore tackle zones. Right. So we're looking for a three plus. You he makes it. it. Then he's strength two, but he gets plus one for the power of friendship, yep. which makes it a one die block. Ooh, a push. A push to there, and I will follow up. Okay. This halfling rolls over, and that is it for my turn. Okay, Milton, your turn five. My turn five. Okay. So the Dark Elf with the ball is being hounded by halflings. First of all, this guy's going to stand back up again. One, two, three. And he's going to stay exactly where he is and tie that tree man up. This guy is going to perform a blitz. He's going to go one, and he's going to blitz this guy here. Okay, so strength three against strength two. That's two dice. And you choose. Take the pow. Oh, it's not even a dodge. Back here. Put him down, and I will not follow up. Okay. Ooh, destroys the armor as if it wasn't even there, uh, but he's only stunned. Three, four, five, six. Now this guy's going to get up. One, two, three. And he is going to unfortunately sacrifice himself again to this he's done all right so far. tree man i think so he's gonna jump out to here okay so two plus dodge which he Ooh. makes so that's one two three four five six is it movement seven on the blitzers i believe so yeah so seven there and then he's going to attempt to pass the ball down there okay so one two three Four or five squares, that's going to be a short pass. Short pass. Yeah, which is plus zero. Now for elves, that means it's a three plus to make the pass. It's a three plus. No re-rolls. He makes, makes it. it. And a catch is now a two plus. Which he makes. Ooh, fantastic. So he now has the ball. Where was he? Was he here or here? Yeah, it was there. I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter because he's going to run it in and score. Here we go. So turn five, touchdown for the Dark Elves. Okay, so Milton, you have scored a touchdown, but you've got one going knocked out. I do. Out, so. I need to see if I get my blitzer back. On a four plus, he comes back in. He does not. Ooh, that was a... Okay, so I have set up my halflings. I've got two ordinary guys at the back. My two catches are in base contact with a tree man. It's going to be by turn five after I've received it. So to score a touchdown, I need to go 13 squares. So while I can get there with three go for it's. It might be worth trying a throw with you, mate. So, Milton, place the ball anywhere in my half. I will put it on the four. Okay, and 2d6 and a d8. So, one square to seven. So, that way. Yeah, and then 2d6 on the kickoff table. 
It's an 11. Throw a rock. Okay, so we both roll d6 and add our fame. After you. Okay, so you score a 7, I score a 6, which means one of these players on my side will get knocked down. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, if you roll a d8, that one gets... So, so this guy, was it? Yeah, uh, 1, 2. So he goes down, his armour is automatically broken, so you just roll to see what happens. 9. He is casualty because he is a stunty. So that's not very good at all, not for me. So, before the ball has even landed, a brick has taken out one of my halflings. <laughs> Sad times. So, now the ball lands and scatters. Six, which is that way. Okay. And over to my turn five. So, got a ball there. Got some tree men. There's not a great amount of stuff I can do here. So let's go for the one turn touchdown. All right. First things first, gonna try and pick up the ball. So this is a three plus. Yep, you one, got it. two, three. And we're gonna try and hand it off to this catcher. So the handoff is automatically completed. Yep. He is a catcher, so it's a three plus. He catches the ball. I thought I'd fail at that point. So now we will go with a one, two, three, four, five, halfling swarm. One, two, three, four, five. And a throw teammate. So this tree here, he's going to try and throw a teammate. So take root. Six. And he's okay. He's okay. And I can throw, and these guys have got strong arm. So let's see, and we will use my reroll token as the halfling for now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll pop him there. This is going to be pretty tough. Pretty tough. So on a two plus, he throws the halfling. He does. He does. So Milton, would you do me the honour of scattering this halfling with the ball mm -hmm. three times? Three. So one that way. Diagonally that way. So that's that. Eight. So diagonally uh, that, that way. way. Yeah. Yep. And then that way again. That is pretty impressive so far. And all I've got to do now is land it. The most important role of the game. He, he lands. Does. And this then, is unusual. One, two, three, four. And he scores. One turn, halfling touchdown. Okay, so roll for your knocked out guy. Hey, he comes, comes back. back. Okay, so you've set up for the kick. Let's pop the ball. Can you put it on the, the square that says five, please? There you go. Okay, and we'll get 2d6. And roll for the kick. Two squares to number two. Okay, so it doesn't actually land on one of your guys this time, that's something. And the all-important kickoff. So this is going to be your turn six. So it we're is. looking for a riot here to extend the half, which is a three. Mm, it's a ten. a ten. A charge. Okay, a charge. Okay, so on a charge result, the kicking team chooses a number between zero and three, and everybody on his t every, every player on that team has to move that exact amount of spaces towards the enemy. It's a free move, so it ignores most of the, well, all of the normal rules, which means my tree men get to charge. One, two, three. 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 Might have been a bit reckless for halflings, but that's okay. And then the ball lands. Scatters to seven. On to this guy. Oh, again. Right. Let's see if he catches it. Three plus. No. Okay. So scatters again. To seven again. So this guy has it. No. No. Five this time. Straight back. Back here. Okay. And that is your turn six. So he's going to go one, two, three to pick up the ball. Two plus. Yes. Okay, so one, two, three. Four, five, six, yeah. seven. Very sensible. He's going to end his turn there. Now, he's going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And this guy is going to blitz. Yep. Go one, two, three, two dive four block. Four for the blitz. I is that a both down? 
Or a no, skull. it's a skull oh, and a push. So just the push then. So I'll push you back here. It's the only place I can push you. So that was my four, five, <laughs> six, seven. And he's going to start right back where he was. That is very sensible. And that is my turn six over. Okay, my turn six. That ball is very well defended there. There's not going to be a great amount I can do. It's symmetrical. It's a very good defence. So all I can really do is try and throw a halfling wantonly in that direction to see if I can take out a player. That is a crazy and reckless move, but I do have one spare halfling. So actually, if he dies, it's not the end of the world. So we're going to go one, two, so I can throw him from there. So this halfling is going to go one, two, three, four. And this tree man is going to roll a one on the take root to try and throw a teammate. No, he's all right. Okay, tree man for the win. One, two. Then he will try and throw him. So where's my bonehead pin? One, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna aim for that dark elf. Roll for the pass. Yep. Six, he makes it. So he is headed that way. So Milton, would you do me the honor of scattering? I will. Okay. He is gonna go that way one. So he's there, so that's one. He is gonna come back to where he was. That's two. And now he's going to land on this blitzer. He lands on that blitzer. So, what happens now is your blitzer goes down. No. My halfling scatters one more square. Okay, so he go. scatters into that dark elf, who also goes down. He goes down. And then would you scatter him one more time? He goes onto this guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he then he goes, goes down. down. And then two. Here. He goes there. Okay, so now... This guy goes is there. there, and he rolls to land. He does not, so he goes into a heap. So let's start off with his armor. Ten. Yeah, that is unsurprising. And Ten. he's out for the count. He is injured. But look what he's done. Okay, now we've got some armor rolls to make. So, so. this guy at the front. Okay, 2d6. Nope. He's okay. The next guy. He's no, okay. He's okay, and the final guy. He's, He's okay, okay as well. Well, you know what? That went pretty much according to plan. <laughs> and that is it for the half. Okay, so start of the second half, and Milton's going to be kicking to me. So he set up his guys. And I've got one halfling who's knocked out. And he comes back. And I am all deployed. So, Milton, where would you like to put the ball? Let's put it on the four. On the four. And then 2d6 and a d8. Two squares to three. So that's on to your tree man. Okay. This is a six. No. Okay, so. Scatters so. again. Uh, onto the hobbit. Onto the hobbit. Oh, no, it scatters there. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. Sorry. Yes, yeah, it does. It that's scatters fine. there. And as the ball... It's still in my half, it's fine. It's yep. not a kickback, so. Uh, kick off? Yep, roll for the kickoff table. Ooh, 11, 11 another throw a rock. So 1d6 each, I get a four. I get a three, you I get a plus one. Four, so we both do the randomization. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roll a d8 for my guys. This guy again. Poor little guy. So armor is broken. Seven. He is stunned, which for these guys, because he's a stunty, is a knockdown. Right. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. So four. Him. Okay. And he's, he's stunned. just stunned. So the ball. We already did that. We did that in the wrong order. That's absolutely fine. Yep. Uh, and then it becomes my first turn. So beginning of the half, I have the master chef. So I'll three d six. So that's one, two, two fives, and the third dice there. So I start with two rerolls, and that's my turn one. So Ball's not in a terrible position. I could do some more throw teammate shenanigans, or I could just try and position the trees a little bit better. We're going to start with this halfling, who's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to bring this catcher across. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. I 
create a fearsome halfling cage. This tree man is going to try and move. So take root on one. He's all right. He's all right. One, two. Pop him there. This tree man is going to try and move. He's okay. One, two. Probably to there, which will make it a bit harder to get around. And the catcher. Can he catch the ball from the ground? He can. Yes. And that is it for my turn one. Three, four, to there. And then I'm going to attempt a blitz with this blitzer here. One, two, three, four on this halfling here. Okay. So he cancels him out, so it will be a two die block against him. Strength three against strength two. I'll take the pow. Okay, so the halfling goes so down. So he has to go in here. I will not follow up. Don't want to be next to the tree man? No. Good grief. Okay, armor. Oh, a billion. Oh, he is out. He so, is out of because there. he is stunty, that is straight to the dead box. And my blitzer will end his action where he is. He's quite comfortable there. So, he's going to move one, two, three, four, seven. He's going to move one, two, three, four to here. Yeah, here. He's happy there. Force the go for it if I blitz. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. This alignment is going to come here. And this blitzer is going to sit here. He's going to roll over, and that is the end of my turn. My turn too. So, the Dark Elves are swarming the halflings. This dream man here will make a blitz. So, does he take root? No. Nope. And then he will go one to there and then two to punch this Dark Elf. So that is strength six against strength three. So that's uh, two dice. Pow. Okay, we'll take the pow. Popping this chap there, and we will follow up. Then, we'll get some armor on the go. Yeah, that does it. Was 11, but only a three, so he is just stunned. So let's carry on. One, two, probably to there. Move the ball carrier. One, two, to there. I don't have a lot of other players, so we're going to try and move with this tree man. So take root. He's okay. One, two, to there. Makes sense. And we'll try and dodge this little dude over to there. So three plus. No. Right. Dodge reroll. No. Okay, what happens to his armour? It was Oof. pretend all along. Oof. Oh, forever. Gone. He's gone. Injuries. And that is it for my turn. Stand this guy up. One, two, three, four, five. And this lineman is going to come back here. One, two, three, four. He is going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. To here and then this blitzer is going to make a blitz action he's going to go one here and he's going to blitz this guy for okay. two die two dice push and push. skull so i will take the push it's going to put their halfling between the ball carrier and the yeah he has to go up. in here and will you be following up <sighs> No. I'm going to stay where I am for now. What I am going to do is I'm going to jump this guy out to here. Okay, two plus. Yes. Ooh, that was close. And that is as far as he is going to go. This guy will roll onto his back. Oh no, sorry, before I do that, I'm going to move this guy. One, two, three, four. He's going to stay there. And this guy will roll over, and that is the end of my turn. Okay, my turn three. We've got a potential throw teammate, which I know I probably favour too highly. We've got a blitz. But last time turn. it was very interesting. And that's the problem, is it is very interesting. So we are going to go for a blitz, first of all, with this tree man here. Yep. 
So take root. Yep. Ooh, he's okay. So he's going to go one to there. As expected. And I know, falling right into your trap. Push right, the dude off. Fine. He goes out. Help me. But he oh, just goes into reserves. He's in the reserves. So that is one, two with that tree man. Now, do I side cage with the halflings? Or do I throw a teammate with the halflings? So, I am going to declare a pass action with him. Yep. And see if he takes root. He does not. Okay. I was really hoping that he would uh, take root, so I didn't have this decision to make. So, he's going to go one, two, to there. Yep. Oh, sorry, dude. They're holding hands. Uh, they are clearly related. There's not a great deal I can do to protect that halfling. So I can try the throw now. If I land it, I've got a reroll. So we will try it. So this halfling here is going to be thrown by this tree. So yes. let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six, into there. Looks good. Okay, one, two, three. So he can't actually scatter off the pitch if I get this wrong. So, first of all, throw. Oh, oh. He drops it. You have a reroll. Yeah. Is it better to take the reroll and stack it with the ball on the end, or to just build a more defensive cage around the halfling and try again next time? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't often throw anyone. Let's go. Him there. Him there. And that is everybody. He's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to stay exactly where he is, keeping this tree man, hopefully, where he is. This blitzer is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to stay there. This lineman is going to go one, two, three, four. This lineman's going to come here. And then this blitzer is going to perform a blitz action. He's going to go one, two, three. So he'll go from here and he will... Okay, so that's him. strength three against strength two, so that's two dice. Okay, yeah. I don't have block. But you I do have dodge. dodge. So you can block him in the square he is. Or I can push him. I will take him down. I think that's the right thing to do. I do too. So okay. he'll go down. Armour. Seven breaks the armour. Seven. Because he's stunty, he is knocked, knocked out. out. Um, but there's no follow-up. This guy's going to stay where he is. I like him down there. And that's the end of my turn. My turn four. Okay. This is pretty tough. I think the first thing we do is go for a tree block here. Oh, my goodness me. It's not part of the plan. So he's going to block. Is he? Does he take root? He's no, he's okay. So, two dice. Hmm. I have to take the push for now. And I won't follow up. Then we are going to go for the throw teammate. So, this guy here uh -huh. is going to throw. Does he take root? He no. does not. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think... I can go up to four across. It's three across. That's all right. I need the one. I need the one. So that's where he's going. Now, I'm in the tackle zone for the tree. So it is a two plus, a three plus, sorry. No, he makes it. Okay, he makes it. So the halfling with the ball is currently there. He's not landed. Let's scatter him. Four goes back one. Eight. Oh my goodness. And a five for the blitzer. Eight again. Oh, so he's here. So that's a minus one to the land roll now because I'm in a tackle zone. Yep. Which makes it a five plus. No. Okay. I will burn a reroll. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't make it, and he oh. pays for it with two boneheads. Five, six, seven. He's knocked out, and the ball goes to the four. Which is there. And unfortunately, that is very much a turnover. That is all the halflings now. Okay, Milton, your turn four. My turn four. The pressure's on. There are no halflings left. You have the ball and no one around. Now, I think in the spirit of the game, I'm going to score and I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> just because 
this is a lot of fun <laughs> and so far what Ben has achieved with the halflings has been very interesting. It's because of their love of the Chaos Gods, that's what it is. So, my first action is going to be to take the ball with this guy. Okay. So, he's going to go there for his first. Two plus. And he gets it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's going to attempt to hand the ball off to this guy. Okay, two plus. He Which gets he it. So, this guy now has the ball. So, he is going to go one, two, three, four, five, and he is going to pass to this guy. <laughs> so that's a two plus, and Which then makes. a two plus to catch. Which he makes. And he makes it. And then this guy is going to run it home. There you go. That's how you basically one turn touchdown with Dark Elves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on two, and that's the end of that. Okay, so I've got three guys who are in the knocked out. I've got one catcher who is not having any of it, and I've got two linesmen. And neither of them are having it, which means I can only deploy two guys, which means you win 2-1. Well done. That was great fun. So that's the end of our game. The <laughs> halflings, or hobbits, hobbits, against the dark elves. Um, that was great fun. It was. It was really good. <laughs> that was really good fun. So that was your first ever Sevens game. That was my first ever Sevens game. That's um, my first ever time playing Dark Elves, and that's my first ever time <laughs> playing against Halflings. That's my first time playing Halflings against Dark Elves. I genuinely thought it was going to be so much worse. Um, no, they really did all right, didn't they? Well, I guess if I hadn't turned off the one, if I hadn't pulled off the one turn touchdown, it would have been two, like a two 0 defeat. Yeah. But so, I think they held their own. I think they did really well until all seven of them were off the pitch. Yes, um, it was going fine. It was. <laughs> so how did you how did you find the dark elves? Um, do you know what I really like them? Yeah, I I've tried pro elves. I've tried wood elves. I think that seems like a nice in between. They've got good armor, great agility, quite a lot of block. Yeah. Now in sevens, they don't have them enough money for the re rolls, but really, there's not very many teams that do. No, I mean, they are expensive, uh, but the block is something I'm familiar with, and yeah. I like that. That that was that was good for me. Um, and when it comes to a tournament like Super Bowl 7s on the 10th of August, you get skill packages. Right. So you, you can upgrade one of your Blitzers or one of your linemen to have, well, first of all, leader, so you have a re-rolling team, but then you can take sure hands. Yep. So you can have a ball carrier, you get that integral re-roll, which kind of balances out a bit. Um, so that's uh, that's Dark Elves. How did you like Sevens? I really like Sevens. I think it's a it's a it's it's the core Blood Bowl game, but it has that pace change that's that really you get all the fun elements very quickly. Yes, the, the, the back and forth, the blocking, the blitzing, the throwing, and and the craziness. Um, yeah, like, really enjoyed it's it. Like a highlight reel. It is very yeah. much. Brilliant. So thank you very much for joining us on this video and, and playing thank Dark Elves versus me. Halflings. And uh, we will get you back again very soon.